Hello, beautiful souls. I hope this video finds you doing well, whether it is morning, night, or evening, wherever you are right now. If this is your first live ever catching with me, I want to say hello and welcome. I am Stacy Overman, your spiritual guide and co-creator in Positive Change. I am the founder of the amazing three-month personal coaching program called The New You Program, and it is changing lives profoundly. I want to talk a little about what happens when we are struggling with understanding how to navigate our spiritual gifts. So many times you have, you've heard some, if, some, if you've watched some of my other videos, I talk about health struggles and that's what gets us to this point of really hearing, seeing, feeling, knowing, um, and intensifying our spiritual gifts. So one of the things that I hear very commonly when I'm on a discovery call with my beautiful potential clients is they feel that they're overwhelmed with emotions. And when this happens, they're not being the best mom they can be. They're not being the best wife they can be. They're not experiencing the best situations as a coworker or a manager or running their business. They're just not being the best that they can be because they're overwhelmed with all the emotional stuff that's happening with not understanding how to navigate and how to manage their spiritual gifts. So some of the things that we can experience when we're on this overwhelm of understanding our spiritual gifts comes out in a lot of different emotional ways. Good morning, Kimberly. Good morning, ladies. And so some of the things is fear of not being heard or fear of not being understood, right? Because sometimes we have a hard time sharing with our family and our friends and our coworkers what's happening, what's ex what we're experiencing. Sometimes the emotional stuff that we're experiencing is we're actually taking on other people's pain, other people's emotions, other people's physical pain within their body. Good morning, dears. And so we often think that it's our own pain. It's our own uh, disorders that we think we're experiencing ourselves. And I'll give you a prime example. Years and years and years ago, I was working with two beautiful ladies on a regular basis that was experiencing extreme fibromyalgia. Now, Back then, I did not understand about my spiritual gifts yet, and I was taking on their pain, and I found myself actually visiting the doctor and saying, oh my gosh, I hurt everywhere all the time. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I have to rest. I do an event, and I need to go home and rest. I can't book anything the next day, and I was like, this sounds exactly like my two beautiful coworker friends that I was working with. And I knew that they had fibromyalgia and I had no idea. I'm like, no, I don't have that. No, no. But I was experiencing all the same pains and, and symptoms that they were. My doctor wound up just saying that I had fibromyalgia. And about a year and a half later, I changed jobs and I didn't see these beautiful ladies um, like I did as regularly. I only saw them every once in a blue moon now, just when we would be able to get together and meet up as friends. And I stopped having all those pains. I stopped having all those symptoms because I was no longer in their presence so much. And I realized that I had a misdiagnosis. Like, I don't have fibromyalgia. It was not my pains. It was not mine. And sometimes we don't realize that this is a God-given gift for us as potential healers to be able to feel into someone else's body, feel what they're feeling, and say thank you, and then let it go. But we need to learn how to do that. And then when we know, ah, this is not mine, this is theirs, then we know how to begin helping them. And, you know, and, and Kimberly's on here and she says it happened to me at ER last night. Yeah, hospitals are notorious for walking in. For me especially, I can feel all these pains, all these other people's pains. 
stresses and troubles and it can be super overwhelming and if you don't understand how to navigate this gift it can be very frustrating you can be taking on the world's pains and not even realizing it and so part of the other emotional stress that can happen when you don't understand how to navigate these spiritual gifts is like feeling stuck feeling like I don't know how to move forward. I am stuck in the yuck. I'm stuck in these pains. I'm stuck in this stuff. I don't know what's going on. And it can get really overwhelming. You may feel like people don't really understand you when you're trying to explain. Maybe you're not being heard. Maybe people aren't listening to you when you're trying to explain to them what's happening with you. Um, you could also feel like you're not cared for, like people don't really want to hear it. They're like, oh my God, here she goes again. She's going to talk about that again. Oh my gosh, right? And so you don't feel valued. You don't feel heard. And then what happens is we start having problems with our throat area and our mouth and our jaw and our neck because we are stifling the truth from being able to be spoken out of our mouth, which then creates other areas of issues in our throat chakra. So that's an uncomfortable place to be it really is when you're trying to understand your your god-given gifts but yet you're having all this overwhelm and frustration emotionally and you're not being the best mom you're not being the best wife you're not being the best co-worker or running your business because you can't hardly function you don't really know what's going on and I can help you with that. I truly can. I've been there. I have experienced that firsthand. And one of the things in my three-month coaching program is we dive deep into understanding how to handle all of that energy, how to manage it, how to navigate it, how to turn it off, turn it down, and turn it on when you need it and understand it so that you can decipher if it's yours or if it's someone else's. So if you're ready to really say, I've had enough of this, I don't want to experience this anymore, and you're serious about learning and understanding and investing in yourself, in your soul, so that you can be the true authentic you and stand in your power and not feel victim to the gift anymore, reach out to me. I would love, 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 love to get you the same results that I'm getting my beautiful clients. I hope you have a wonderful and fabulous day. Thank you for joining me on the live. Let me know if you are on the replay. Mwah! Angel kisses. Until the next video, have a blessed day.